I'm now going to demonstrate how to use the stair buttons to lay out a rafter tail. For example, this rafter had a plumb cut at this location so many inches down from the top. Using my stair buttons attached to my framing square, I bring the framing square in line with the, the dimension mark and draw a plumb cut. This will be what was cut off to create a plumb rafter tail. Here is a view of the finished frame. On the rafters you can see the plumb rafter tail cut and where the rafter meets the plate you can see the bird's mouth cut. At this location I would like to cut a, a bird's mouth for a rafter seat. This is so many inches down from the top according to the plan. Place my framing square on the, with the buttons. Bring it to the crosshairs because it has to be down so many inches from the top. There's my plumb cut. I slide it over. Here's my seat cut. This part of the wood will be cut out. This is also waste on the tail. Using the big gal, I can draw lines across the bottom of the rafter. which would pr project the lines to the other side of the timber. Drawing a vertical line down the side of a timber is often called dropping a line. So if you read in a book where the author says drop a line, that's what it means. Draw vertically down the side like you're going to drop your pencil. This snapshot shows a bird's mouth already cut for the seat for the rafter and a layout beside it.